Genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, have, as their name suggests, had their genetic character altered by humans. The notion of modification was developed by the founding father of modern genetics, the 19th century Austrian friar and scientist Gregor Mendel. Mendel studied plant variation, cultivated and tested some 29,000 pea plants, which led him to formulate the principles known as Mendel's laws of inheritance. In fact, humans have always crossbred both plants and animals to obtain hybrids with particular characteristics. In a broad sense, all domestic dogs descended from wolves are effectively GMOs. But in general, the term GMO applies specifically to organisms modified by modern biotechnology techniques. This usually involves implanting genes from one living organism into another, so animals or plants exhibit new properties, a process known as transgenesis. Researchers have, for example, taken a light-producing gene from a glowworm and implanted it into a cow embryo. While the future calf may not exactly glow in the dark, under the microscope its cells will emit a gentle glow under stress. Much used in research, genetically modified organisms have many practical applications, particularly in the field of agriculture and food production. Industrial companies have perfected varieties of plants like maize, soya and cotton, which are resistant to parasites, fungi and diseases, or to certain harmful herbicides used in farming. Other GMOs are designed to improve the nutritional value of crops or to have beneficial health implications. For example, American researchers are working on a genetically modified banana, which acts as a vaccine against gastroenteritis. But GMOs are also a cause for concern. While there's no concrete proof they're harmful, environmentalists say more research needs to be carried out into their possible health risks. There's also the worry genes in certain plants have a tendency to disperse and contaminate other varieties, thus upsetting the balance of ecosystems. Large multinational food processing companies have also rendered some organisms unable to reproduce, meaning farmers have to buy new seeds for every subsequent crop.